Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, I'm Zoe, and one of the first YouTube friends I made when I started my channel was Jenny Nexus. And she does gaming, game development content, and Twitch streaming, but she actually has a few other channels. One in particular, DIY with Jenny, where she does nails, fashion DIYs, and t-shirt cutting, is how we found each other. She has great videos and I've wanted to collaborate with her for a long time, so today we're going to follow along with one of her videos and try out her style of t-shirt cutting. The video we will be watching today is DIY long sleeve cut t-shirt design. And even though this one's more of a vlog style t-shirt cutting video, I wanted to follow it because I thought it looked really challenging. Now you're watching a quick muted version, but she is talking through the video. Okay, so before she starts, she's cut off the collar and cut slits down the sleeves. Then she folds the shirt in half at the middle and starts cutting slits down the front. This is a good trick because it trims down your cutting time. Now she cuts some long slits and some short ones, all freehand, and then she stretches it out. Okay, so the first thing I did was turn my shirt inside out so that I could make some markings. Then I cut off the collar. I wasn't brave enough to do the cutting without making any markings, but I did do all of the cutting without any measurements, and it worked out just fine. So I marked out small sections along the arms and cut slits all the way down. Then just like she did, I folded my shirt in half down the center, made sure the seams lined up, and started cutting slits down the center of the shirt. I usually don't do this because I'm afraid I'll cut things off center, but it actually worked out perfectly. So I cut some strips short and some longer, and I tried to copy her pattern. Then I stretched it all out. Okay, back to the video. She cuts off some strips of fabric from the bottom to use later. And then she somehow cuts two sets of strips down the back without making any markings. Now this both impresses and intimidates me. I think I'll be giving myself some marks so that I don't mess this up. And that's exactly what I did after cutting off some strips from the bottom for later. I marked out my two sections in the back and then folded my shirt in half along the center of each section to cut the slits. Then stretched it all out. Now the weaving. She's doing a ladder weave down the back and also starting with a ladder weave down the front, but switches it up to a twisted weave part way down for a couple of strands, then goes back to the ladder weave. Then she ties the front bottom pieces together with a strand of fabric from before, and ties the back like we regularly do, by cutting the bottom strand in half and tying each side to the strand above it. So I started by turning my shirt back inside in and putting cardboard inside. Then starting with the back, I did one row of ladder weaving down each side. If this is making no sense to you at all, try watching my guide to t-shirt cutting video for in-depth instructions on weaving. I cut the bottom strands in half and tied them to the strands above it. Then I did the front, starting at the top, I did a ladder weave down about halfway. Then started doing a twisted weave for about four strands. Then went back to a ladder weave. Okay, so when I got to the bottom, I took a strand of fabric from before and looped it around the two bottom pieces, tying them together. Now she does a ladder weave down the arms and ties the bottoms with strands of fabric like before. Then she goes back to the front and adds a row starting with a twisted weave and continuing with a ladder weave until about halfway where she ties it off with another strip of fabric.
So I did a ladder weave down the sleeves and then tied them off with a strand of fabric. Then I went back to the front and started with two twisted weaves, then continued with a ladder weave as far as I could and then tied it off with another strand of fabric. Then she finishes the weaving with one more set of ladders on the back and finishes the shirt by adding a couple more strands to the sleeves and then adding beads. My shirt was getting pretty tight at this point, but I managed to do the extra set of ladder weaving down the back sections. Then I didn't have enough strands left to add any more, so I just added some beads. And that's it! That was a lot of fun. I definitely got some new techniques to use. You should check out Jenny's channels. I'll link all her info down below. I really enjoyed making this video and I really hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And if you're looking for more content, check out my other social media, all at Anorthodol. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here or watch another video right over here. Thanks for watching.